Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Today, we've been. I wanted to go back and emphasize something that we covered this week in the coding guidelines. We were down to um, 1, B, 19, A, and B. And I wanted to clarify something on yesterday. I received um, an email or two questioning the guideline. So I want to make sure I go back and emphasize what that guideline says and how to appropriately code it. And then I also want to end this video with giving you some exercises to code based on what we talked about this week on external cause coding. Okay, first let's look at this guideline. All right, we were talking about the external cause of morbidity code issues. And we were saying down here that the guideline says if it's not clear whether the injury was a direct result of the hurricane, assume the injury is due to the hurricane and assign code X37.0 hurricane as well as any other applicable external cause of morbidity codes. And the question was, how do, why do we assume? And in, in this case, it's saying, Start back at the beginning of this guideline. It says, for injuries that are not a direct result of the hurricane, such as evacuee that has incurred an injury as a result of a motor vehicle accident, assign the appropriate external cause of morbidity codes to describe the cause of the injury, but do not assign the X37 hurricane. But if it's not clear whether the injury was a direct result of the hurricane, assume the injury is due to the hurricane and assign code X37.0 hurricane as well as any other applicable external cause of morbidity codes. So what I'm saying is if there is a hurricane going on and somebody gets in their car to drive then more than likely the motor vehicle accident is due to the hurricane. People are rushing. So assign that if it's during a hurricane Assign that X37.0 external cause code for hurricane first because we learned it takes priority over any of the others, right? This week we talked about that. Hurricane takes um, priority or precedence over any other external cause codes except child abuse, adult abuse, and terrorism. But hurricane is right in there. Those take priority. And then the motor vehicle accident in addition. So if it's during a hurricane, and a person has a motor vehicle accident, hurricane code goes first. Had there not been a hurricane, then code the motor vehicle accident external cause code first. So that's what that guideline is saying. If it's during a hurricane, then the hurricane ultimately is the responsibility or the responsible agent for the um, motor vehicle accident. All right, your other request to me was some exercises that you could practice your external cause coding with. So let me give you a couple of those. And let me emphasize this, because when I give you exercises, some of you will come back and say, will you do a video showing us how you got your answers? So if you have any problems with these exercises that I've given you, and I'm gonna give you the answers at the end, and you still can't figure it out, email me at codemastercoach at gmail.com, and I'll show you, I'll walk you through how I got the answers, okay guys? All right, here's your exercises. Number one, motorcyclist injured in accident. Well, correction, motorcyclist injured in accidental collision with train. And I'm asking for just the external cause code. Okay. Number two, passenger injured in accidental derailment of train. Number three, fall down stairs. Number four, frostbite, all toes due to cold exposure. And in this, number four, you have a diagnosis and external cause codes to assign to number four. The others, I didn't give you a diagnosis, but on this one, I've given you a diagnosis. And number five, bitten by a cat during animal care. So in number five, I've given you an external cause, but I've also given you the activity that was done during this external cause. So let's look back at them one more time. Number one, motorcyclist injured in accidental collision with train. Number two, 
passenger injured in accidental derailment of train. Number three, fall downstairs. Number four, frostbite, all toes due to cold exposure. I'm wanting a diagnosis and the external cause. And number five, bitten by a cat during animal care. Okay. Pause, answer those questions, and then let me go right into the email, I mean the answers, correction. Your answers. Number one, V25.4XXA. Number two, V81.7XXA. Number three, W10.9XXA. Number four, T33831A. T33832A. And X31.XXXA. And number five, W55.01XA. And Y93K9. There are your answers. Any problems, email me. Codemastercoach at gmail.com. Thanks, guys.